Let me say this, and I pray that this makes sense. You may be trying to become my friend. You may be trying, perhaps, to become my future wife. Who knows? You may be trying to join the ministry with me. If you are, there is something that you must know. I believe that I am following God's rules and regulations. I believe that God is using me as an instrument to reach other people, to come to him. So in saying that, do you believe that demons are pleased with that? Of course not, right? If demons want all the humans to go to hell and there are people that are teaching others to not go to hell, <laughs> demons are not pleased with that person. So what are they going to do to those people? Attack. Okay. So now you know that I get attacked, right? Okay. So if you are trying to be my friend, if you are trying to be my future wife, if you are trying to join the ministry with me, what does that mean? If I am being attacked and you are trying to become a partaker of what I am doing or you are trying to join me, what is going to happen to you? You are going to be attacked as well. So how are demons going to attack you? Confusion, misunderstandings, strife, so on and so on. Okay. So now you know that when there is people that are teaching others to come to God, and if you join them, join their ministry, friend, wife, whatever, future wife or whatever, you are going to come under attack as well. <sighs> so, when saying that, when a disagreement comes, when confusion comes, when strife may try to come, why would you run away? Why? Why would you run away? Show me any type of relationship where you can spend so much time with a person and you not show me any type of relationship that you won't have a disagreement in when you are spending so much time with a person. Show me one relationship where everything is perfect. You can't show me it. So why Why would you contemplate in running off? So if you were to do that, you would be complying with what the demons are trying to do. Think about it. If I was throwing rocks at your window, and you see me throwing rocks at your window. <laughs> now, are you going to sit idle and watch me break your windows? <laughs> of course not. What you are going to do is call the police 
or do something to stop me, right? So if you are helping me attack the kingdom of hell, why do you believe demons are going to stand idle? You say that I am being used by God. You say that I am a man of God. You know that I get attacked, right? So if you join me and become a partaker of my life, why wouldn't the evil come toward your way as well? <laughs> if you are in the car with me and there are some people trying to kill me, even if the attackers don't know you, they are going to kill you too. If they are shooting at me and you are in the car with me, they are going to try to kill you as well. Because why? Because you are with me. So if you are trying to be my friend, my future wife, <laughs> or partake in the ministry with me, trouble, demons, are going to try to come your way. Now, you can pray about it. You can fight back. Yes. But you have to understand that trouble is going to come your way. Listen. There is a person that helps me now. And before this person started to help me, I told him or her, look, look, if you begin to help me, in so many words, I was saying to that person, demons are going to come your way. And I am not saying this to curse that person or anything foolish. And today, that person emailed me and told me some things that is going on with him or her now. There is a person that I was helping so well. I was helping this person so well. I was teaching this person, praying with this person, so much more. And this person was learning so good. So this person told another person, and let's call this person person B. So person A told person B what I have been teaching person A. And person B called me a false prophet or a false teacher. Person A told me the bad things that are happening to him or her. Person B, I guess, did not have the answers, right? So person A came to me. And I am telling person A what works. So person A told person B and person B called me a false teacher and to leave that guy alone. But if evil is happening to person A and you don't have the answers and you don't live by God and I am telling person A what to do and what works, why would you call me a false teacher when you are in sin? So you are in sin telling me or telling person A that I am a false teacher. 
So because person B has influence over person A, pretty much after that, pretty much everything broke down. And I am thinking, why are you going to allow demons to take back control over you? You was telling me when you was doing what I was telling you to do, things were working out. But now, ah. Uh, so sad, man. Listen. The people that join me or speak to me or whatever or spend time with me, I am going to have influence over that person. I am. And I am not saying this out of pride or anything like that. So if demons know that I am going to have influence over a person, why would they want that person to stay in contact with me? So of course, they are going to try to break up that relationship. <sighs> Please listen. So they are going to bring confusion, misunderstandings, make you try to get offended with me by anything foolish. Ah. Oh. Please listen, because, oh, Jesus help me. Please listen. You come to me asking for help. You can see that I am teaching rightly. When I begin to have more and more influence on you, demons see that. They see it. They see it. <laughs> so if you are learning from me and you are acting upon what you are learning, if you continue to do that, demons are going to have less influence upon you. So what are they going to do? Let's break that thing up. Let's break that relationship, that whatever, up before that person breaks a loose from our control. <sighs> Please listen. You are going to have to grow up. Look, it is about compromise compassion, empathy, unconditional love. I teach about that. You can't run when you see a disagreement. You can't run when you are, when you feel like you get offended. You say that I am teaching rightly. You are learning from it and you are changing. So something I say offends you, which I am telling you what the Bible is saying, and you try to run away. If you are being helped in this ministry, and you get offended by something, <laughs> you have to know that is a demon. You try to find help in other avenues, but it seems not to work. So you find a person that is teaching rightly, and I am not saying that Kev is this best elite top preacher of the whole world, I am not saying that. My point is, if you are trying to be my friend, my future wife, I guess, 
<laughs> or join the ministry, you have to understand that attacks are going to come your way. You have to understand that. Whoever says that demons are never going to mess with you when you are a Christian, that is crazy talk. Because what is the point in the Apostle Paul telling you to put the whole armor of God on if demons are not going to attack you? So I pray that this makes sense. And please take heed to this. So if you are not a mature Christian yet, or if you are super duper sensitive, chances are it is not going to work between you and I. Now, if you are a person that's willing to compromise, perhaps it is going to work. But if you get hurt by any little thing, little thing a person says, chances are it is not going to work. So please understand what I am saying. I am not looking for trouble. I am not looking to offend anyone. As you can see, I don't insult anyone. I don't. And if I was to, I would apologize. But I make a practice in not trying to insult anyone. I make it a practice to not act out of anger. So if I am doing those things, treating you properly, but you still get offended, that is saying something. Demons. Please listen. God bless you.